one little spark and you know, the whole, uh, whole area could go up. Tonight, concern over dangerous digging in a local community has that work on hold this evening, and the state is now investigating. Family after family shared frustration with us after a half a dozen gas line breaks that led some people to pack up and leave their homes. Our David McAnally tonight is in Fishers with how the city stepped in and where this goes from here. Fishers firefighters have had to gear up and go out on all those runs. A week ago, the city said they had to stop because of problems. Then Tuesday, a solution was found. But then today happened. In Fishers, fixing it. Pipeline crews repairing a gas line in the Windermere subdivision off 106th Street. The city says it was struck by a contractor installing fiber optic cable for Metronet, an internet provider. It's kind of scary to think that that could happen. But I'm not willing to have Metronet at the expense of my family's lives. Um, anytime we have these leaks, um, you know, that gas is uncontrolled. And depending on the size of the leak, um, we're putting the residents in the area in danger. At least six gas lines damaged in a week or so. And there have been two more gas lines severed in two days. It's dangerous. I just feel like there should be a better project plan. Thursday evening, Metronet issued a written statement. It said it was extremely disappointed to learn of the gas line cut. Quote, this incident occurred despite Metronet mandating that its contractor utilize hydro excavating procedures to locate gas lines. It says it fired the contractor immediately for not following those procedures. The city and state regulators ordered the company to stop digging while they investigate. All of these yellow flags show where the gas line runs. Why the crew ended up hitting it over there, we don't know. But the hydro procedure they were supposed to have been using was supposed to make it easier to find the gas lines in this hard, dry ground. And they need to find out what happened and why. Because it is an inconvenience and it is a safe, safety factor. Some neighbors who left their houses because of the line cuts hope it's over. To evacuate every day is upsetting. So no new digging until the investigation's complete. Andrea. David, thank you. Now we also found out that Metronet is based in Evansville. It's expanded into more than 30 communities across our state. In fact, its website shows construction underway right now in six different central Indiana cities, from Carmel to Lafayette. But we did some more research about Metronet and found similar issues in the past. Greenwood reported gas line breaks during Metronet projects. And Westfield says two years ago, the company caused lines to rupture there, too. Now, the city had to order workers to stop digging until they figured out the problem. Metronet tells us tonight that it is committed to ensuring public safety and eliminating disruptive construction practices.